It's happened to everyone. You find the perfect headphones. I'm talking perfect in every way, except the cord's too short or the headband digs in or the dank bass drops are more like dank bass mints. There are so many things that can go wrong that it's impossible to find a set that's 100% flawless. Until now, meet the TMA2 modular headphone system from III, the headphone maker that lets you have it your way. The Master Keys Pro keyboard lineup from Cooler Master is available in three sizes, each in white or RGB flavors. Check them out at the link below. For their TMA2s, III has atomized their headphones into four constituent parts. Headbands, speaker units, ear pads, and cables, allowing you, theoretically, to mix and match to perfectly suit your needs and your budget. Every part in the lineup is compatible with every other one, and they all have this understated postmodern aesthetic that you probably won't be surprised to learn came out of Northern Europe. These headphones are straight up a lot cooler than I am. And their website is pretty cool too, and refreshingly well designed, which is pretty important since it's all you'll have to go on. You can't just go to the local Best Buy and try every combination. So not only does it let you browse the various parts available in each category, it also offers several paths to choosing a suitable assemblage. You can dive right in with their nifty configurator tool or sync up your Spotify account to get a suggested config based on the music you listen to, or you can just pick one of the presets that III has designed. I think one of the best parts of working on this review was actually the assembly. It was kind of like getting a new kit of Lego when I was a kid. The components come individually bagged and putting them together is not only super easy, but it's actually kind of fun. The pieces snap together with plastic clips and sliders, but I want to be clear that yes, they're plastic, but I really don't get a sense that they had to compromise a whole lot on build quality in order to achieve their modularity goals. The soft touch matte black components feel great and the headband sizes adjust with a very satisfying click. So III sent us almost every flavor of each of the four parts. So we've got ear pads with microfiber, faux leather, or velour padding, cord combinations from short to long to straight to curly to with or without inline controls and microphones. We've got 40 millimeter dynamic driver speaker units with all manner of different magnets, diaphragms, and venting. And we've got a selection of slim or padded headbands. Almost the only thing they didn't include is their upcoming wireless Bluetooth headband. So then with enough parts to reconstruct all of III's preset bundles, we set out to do just that. From the $145 all arounds to the $260 tone meisters, every pair is subjectively very stylish with no tacky brand logos visible and the only interruption to the clean matte black looks being an optional splash of color on the cord. They're all lightweight and comfortable, and I even prefer the long-term feeling of the over-ear TMA2 configurations to that of the Sennheiser Momentums, and headband caliper pressure is snug, of course a little higher on the on-ear configs like the DJ preset, the ear pads are free to articulate a bit, and you can plug the cord into whichever side you prefer. Nice. But how do they sound? Well, as you might expect, that depends heavily on your personal configuration, particularly the speaker units and ear pads. So we're used to seeing headphone product descriptions full of marketing buzzwords and audiophile lingo. And while the III site is guilty of that to a degree, what I will say is this, the TMA2 descriptions do contain some meaningful information. 
Some speaker units have punchier bass, and some ear pads, as advertised, do create a wider soundstage. But the summary, I guess, then, is this. All the configurations we tested sounded what I would describe as pretty solid at their respective price points. Though, I would actually recommend avoiding the entry-level S01 speaker units as they were the only ones that stood out as being overly bright, forward, and kind of baseless. Thankfully, SO2s are only 25 bucks more, and spending more does continue to get you a more natural sound. But, it should be noted, I don't want this to come across as a suggestion that you just buy the most expensive configuration, because that might not be the one that you personally like best. Which brings us to the big question then. Modular headphones like the TMA2, do, do they make sense compared to a comparably priced conventional set. Definitely. They sound good, and you're not paying a premium for the modularity. III's previous TMA1 headphones retailed for 200 bucks and are now available as the TMA2 DJ preset for 200 bucks. So what do you get? Well, nothing you didn't pay for. If you don't want inline controls, don't buy them. If you know you want a longer cord, you're not forced to also pay for a stock shorter one. This entire concept makes replacing damaged pieces or future incremental upgrades possible in a way that just isn't if you have to replace an entire headphone at once, making them, I guess, more sustainable too, so bonus? While we're on that subject, they've also got this one headphone to rule them all thing going on where you can actually transform them from studio mode to sweaty gym mode by swapping out the ear pads, which takes just a few seconds or from wired to Bluetooth just by unplugging the cable. Now we're talking. To be clear though, we are not saying the TMA2 is for everyone and it's gonna dethrone our favorite headphones, not by a long shot. But the best sounding headphones don't cost 150 to 250 bucks. What we are saying is that if that is your price range, these look great, sound great, and allow you to get the right headphones for you instead of the best compromise you can find on the shelf. Crunchyroll is the site created by anime fans for anime fans. They offer the most current episodes of new shows straight from Japan like Dragon Ball Super and Twin Star Exorcists, and all of the content on their site is professionally subtitled. Our link down below gives you a whole month of free anime, completely ad free. Wow! And if you enjoy the many benefits of premium, like 1080p streaming, uh, getting new episodes of shows straight from Japan within an hour of their premiere, and being able to stream to a variety of devices like your phone, tablet, or game console, you can continue your premium membership to Crunchyroll for just $6.95 a month. So head over to crunchyroll.com slash Linus and sign up today. Or tomorrow. So thanks for watching guys, if you disliked, dislike, but if you liked this video, hit that like button, get subscribed, maybe consider checking out where to buy the stuff we featured at the link in the video description. Also down there is our merch store, which has cool shirts like this one, and our community forum, which you should totally join.